Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make the viral baked feta pasta. So for this recipe, you're going to need two pints of cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. I'm just checking them to make sure there are no bad ones in there and I'm taking off any leaf or stem that is in there. I'm not one to follow trends or follow anything, but I've been seeing this recipe everywhere and decided to try just to see what the fuss was about. And oh my goodness, I couldn't believe how good it is. Oh my gosh. Now I see why people are talking about it. Before I get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'll be glad to have you. And be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Now that my tomatoes are washed, I'm just going to put them in my long baking dish. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of olive oil. And everyone says it looks like a lot of oil and I couldn't agree more. But I was just following the recipe exactly like they said to do it. To that, I'm adding about three cloves of garlic. I know these are a lot of cloves, but they're small, so three big cloves I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that really well so the tomatoes could get coated with the olive oil and seasoning. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements listed in the description box below for you. Next, you're going to make a little space in the middle to put your feta cheese. This is the one I'm using and I have to say, it was hard to find feta cheese. A lot of the stores were sold out. It seems like everyone is making this dish. Just so you know, this was my first time trying feta cheese. I always see it at the store but I never buy it and I have to say I have a new cheese that I love. It's so good. I can't believe I've been missing out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bake this in a preheated 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 35 minutes. While that's baking, I'll just go ahead and cook up my pasta. After the water comes to a boil, then you want to salt your water. And I'm just using half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using some rotini for this, but you can use whatever pasta you like. And just follow the package instructions. But for me personally, I like to cook it for about 10 minutes. After your pasta is cooked, reserve half a cup of the pasta water and drain the rest. So this is what it looks like after 35 minutes. Just look how beautiful it is. Use the back of your spoon and mash the tomatoes. If you're going to try this recipe, I would suggest to not change anything. Just do it the exact way they say how to make it, just so you can know what it tastes like. And then on your second round, then you can change it up and do what you want. But yeah, I mean, I think that way about every recipe. 
if I'm trying a new recipe, I don't change anything. I just keep it the way it is. And then the second time, then I just do what I want. After you mash all the tomatoes, then you just want to mix the cheese in with everything. If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Shirani. I'm always sharing stuff in my story over there, so follow me if you don't want to miss it. Add your cooked pasta and give that a stir. Then the last thing I'm going to add is the half a cup of pasta water that I reserved and some chopped fresh basil. Stir that really well to mix everything together and then you're done. When I was looking at this recipe, it said not to worry about all the olive oil because it serves 8 people. And that got me thinking, are they talking about eight kids? <laughs> because it was just me and my hubby and we ate from this two different times. So we only got four servings out of this big dish. I don't know, maybe we ate too much. But it didn't feel like a lot. But yeah, I mean, eight people, I don't know, maybe eight kids or, or four adults. Like I said, this was only my second time trying it, but I would highly recommend it. It's so, so good. It tastes so gourmet. Like, I just can't explain how good it tastes. And it's just all the saltiness and the whatever from the feta cheese. But that just makes it so, so good. So please go out, get your ingredients and try it. By the way, I made some shrimp to go with it and it was really, really good. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. And as always, I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.